okay guys so now i will add all the features for we will start with the counties so i will hide my la freeways and make sure my orange county cities is hidden and i will hide my other feature classes like the cities the freeways and the orange county cities so my focus right now is only on the counties and we will go to the edit and go to create and instead of using the regular polygon drawing, we will use the next tool here, which is autocomplete polygon. And as you know, from ArcGIS desktop, uh, autocomplete is like it helps you complete your polygon and match the boundaries of the new polygon to an existing polygons. So we can click here and start to draw our polygon. And as you see here, when I'm drawing, I keep getting the snapping to the vertex because I have the snapping to sketch enabled. So we will right click here and say disable snap to sketch and continue our drawing and I can come I can add a vertex here and make sure that my line is inside the other vertex snap here and continue drawing and that way I'm sure that I'm not gonna have any gaps between this polygon and the existing one right here or this one right here and the autocomplete as you see created the boundary for me and now we will do all the same for all the southern california counties So now we finished drawing all the counties for Southern California. The next thing we will do, we will disable the, the counties from here. We will focus only on the counties area and we will enable the raster image for Orange County cities. And here we choose Orange County cities to make sure that this is the one we use for drawing. And instead of using the autocomplete polygon, this time we will use the autocomplete freehand uh, because we have a lot of edges right here that is not straight lines. So the freehand will be much easier for us. So let's see how that will work quickly. And I will let you do it the same way. So here, for example, I will choose the freehand autocomplete and start from here and moving my mouse. And we will go all the way up. And here and we make sure that we end our polygon inside the other one and now we have the new feature so now I will let you do the same for all the other cities and I will do the same here So now I finished drawing all the cities for Orange County. We will do the same thing with uh, the cities and points. So here we will choose the points. We will just add one point on each city very quickly. So now we finished drawing our Orange County cities, uh, the city's points and the counties. We will draw the freeways. So now we will zoom out a little bit to Southern California so we can open the bookmark, go to Southern California and make sure that we can see our freeways. So enable the freeway here. We hide the Orange County cities. We don't want it anymore. We zoom in a little bit more here and make sure we hide the other layers so we focus on the freeway only we enable it from here and we will start draw all the freeways that in red color uh, using this tool and make sure that you enable the snapping to a vertex or end the point and start point so we make sure that we connect our lines together and I will change the symbology for the line here to make it a little bit thicker and darker so I make sure that I am covering the entire area so I'm gonna make it black and I'll make it three. I'll say apply. And we'll draw the entire freeways in the red color, which is the main major freeways in California. So 
So now I finished drawing all the freeways, we finished drawing the cities, the Orange County cities and the counties. So let's hide our raster images and only show the feature classes to see how our map will look like and zoom out a little bit. And as you see here, we have our map. We have two features selected here, so let's clear the selection. Uh, the colors of the Orange County cities is very similar to the counties, so let's change the symbology for Orange County cities. By right click here, I want only to change the color. I'll make it a uh, light red or orange, and so we can see it from here. We still have our snapping enabled because we have the editing enabled as well, so you we can disable the snapping from here. And make sure you save your edits uh, along the way when you draw. If you are doing a lot of digitizing, if you have a lot of data that you are drawing on and a lot of layers that you are working on uh, in the same time, make sure like once in a while you click save edits and you say yes I want to save all edits and you make sure that your data is saved. In the next video we will see how can we add attribute data in ArcGIS Pro and how can we calculate the area, the length, the lat and long for the points and we will use this map and use this data for the rest of our course so we can see what else we can do in ArcGIS Pro. So thank you so much for sticking around and if you have any questions please let me know and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks.